Welcome to the Australian Hotel and Brewery, where our head chef, Sam Young, is going to be showing us how to make our patented, trademark beef short ribs, marinated in our delicious dark lager. Ready? Hi, Sam. Hi. So what we have first, um, we're just going to do a small amount. Obviously, we do um, quite a large, a lot larger amount here at, um, at the brewery at a time. Um, we've got a couple of kilos of uh, beef short ribs that uh, we've actually had our butcher cut for us. So they're in the small pieces, so they're a lot easier to handle. Um, first things first, we're just going to give them, I'll just turn this pan down, it's getting a little hot. Just going to marinate them in a little bit of uh, soy sauce. The soy just helps counteract the, um, the beer, the beer being quite bitter. So this adds our, our salty component. So beer being bitter, the soy being salty, and then as we go down the line we'll be adding some sugar to um, the sweetness. So just going through our ingredients, um, the beef short ribs marinating, cinnamon quills, star anise, garlic cloves, palm sugar, and one carrot. So what we're going to do first of all, once this uh, beef short ribs has been marinating, we're just going to seal them off, get some really nice colour on them. So it's really quite important here to get some uh, good colour. This gives you the depth and flavour uh, in, in the end dish. Okay, just making sure we seal all the sides of the beef. So Sam, why do we use dark beer instead of a lighter lager? Well, the main, the main reason, uh, one is colour um, and the depth of flavour. Um, you, you don't get the, 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 the richness and the, the, the chocolates and the, the deep flavours in, um, in the lighter lagers and stuff. So um, yeah, we go with the dark beer uh, for this one. I suppose it helps that this dark lager is also taken out of best in class the Australian International Beer Awards this year. Absolutely. I mean, um, it's always better to use better beers. Um, you know, you can use um, at home. You can always come down here and um, pick up a growler to make this dish. Um, it's on tap for you, so um, very accessible, easy to get. So this beer's just been poured fresh off the tap this morning? Oh, about 10, 10 minutes ago before I started this dish, so um, yeah, straight off. That's how we like it at the Australian Brewery, as fresh as it gets. So those are really browning up quite nicely now? Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. It's quite important here to um, make sure we take the time and, and get the good colour right around the whole piece. The more colour you get here, the more flavour, um, the, the better the end dish is going to be. So if you were just to put it straight in the beer, you wouldn't get the depth of flavour. So it's worth, definitely worth taking the time to get it sealed off nicely. See, we've um, got some really nice colour happening on these um, short ribs. And just so you know, like even though the meat looks really, really nice, um, cooked, cooked under, this is going to take at least two hours to cook because there's so many uh, tendons and fibres and seeing you through these would actually give you the, um, the flavour of the meat, but you do need that cooking time in order to break them down. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to turn the heat down a little bit. We're going to transfer these into a, uh, a deep pot. That away, we don't, we don't want the fat on that. A lot of um, a lot of cooking techniques would actually um, deglaze that that pan, but that's not necessary here. There's just a lot of extra fat that's starting to burn, so we won't put that in. So, and basically, all we do here now is um, just add all the other ingredients. We're going to cover it. So, it's just the garlic cloves go in, palm sugar, star anise. But also what I like to do is I like to just put one whole carrot in. What this actually does, it helps take some bitterness out of the out of the beer and just adds that, helps that sweetness. So that just goes straight in. Now for my favourite ingredient. And we just pour in the Australian dark lager. We just want to just cover 
just cover the, um, the beef. I'm going to keep that on a low simmer. Also, what I like to do is just, just, just cover it with some greaseproof paper. That, that just keeps the, the heat in and stops the, the, the beer reducing down too fast before the, um, before, the, before the beef is cooked. So what we're going to do now is just let that simmer there um, for a minimum of two hours. We'll, uh, we'll check, the, check the tenderness on the, um, on the beef after the two hours and then we'll go from there. Beautiful. So we'll let that go. Two hours later, the, uh, the ribs are nice and tender. What we want to do here, get in there Dave, um, we want to try and keep, be as gentle as the ribs as possible because they're very, very tender and quite soft. So you want to be quite careful with them. You don't want to rip them off the bone. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, we'll do one portion up. Well, they look good. I'm just going to get some of the sauce. It's quite wet at the moment, but what we do is we'll just reduce that right down. And you can see that um, we're starting to get a little bit uh, syrupy. You can see the, the, um, the sauce is starting to reduce and starting just, just to coat the, um, the ribs just nicely. It takes, just takes a few minutes, but it's uh, definitely worth it to process it. Um, just makes that nice glaze over the ribs. So what would you normally serve with these ribs? Um, the, fa the favourite I like to serve with it is rice. Um, rice works really well. Um, here at the brewery we serve chips because um, it's faster, it's easier and um, just that's what most people like to, um, to have with them here. But um, my favourite is rice, so I'm going to put it at home. I would um, definitely steam some rice. See now we've got really nice and syrupy and then you can see the glaze on top of the ribs so we're uh, ready to serve. So we'll just go over here and um, we'll serve them up. So we're just gonna put them in this little bowl. See there's quite a lot of meat there. It doesn't need too much of this syrup because it's uh, very strong, very rich. So just a little bit to glaze it up. And I also like to just, just to glaze it just to garnish it in a little bit of uh, fresh coriander. And that's it. And these will be best enjoyed with a schooner about dark lager, I imagine? Absolutely. It, uh, because it's cooked with the lager, uh, it goes perfectly well with it. And um, the beer actually tastes so much better when you eat it with it. All right. Thanks very much for that, Sam. No problem.